Good morning and welcome to our session on IoT Network Edge Infrastructure and Devices. My name is Harry Forbes. I'm an analyst with ARC in, uh, based in Boston. Um, I'm happy to have you here and I think we're going to have a very informative and interesting session. Um, our, our session is going to uh, have two presentations, one by Rick Morse of Rex Nord Holdings uh, on their in adding intelligence and sensing to remote equipment and uh, extremely remote equipment, and uh, by Bill Perez of uh, Connecticut Water Company, who has networked uh, dozens of critical facilities in their in their utility infrastructure. So we have a kind of a manufacturing story and a utility story. Um, oops, here we go. Can we have the first slide? There we go. Okay, I'm just going to preface with a few remarks, uh, and then uh, maybe I should begin by uh, introducing the folks who are up at the podium. Um, Rick Morris from uh, Rexnord, uh, Ron Victor, who is the CEO of Iodium, um, oh, Bill Perez from Connecticut Water, Bill Burke, Ben, ben Burke from uh, Dispel LLC, and uh, who's that guy in the end? <laughs> Sorry. This is Ted, Ted Masters, who is the, the CEO of, of the Fieldcom Group. And the Fieldcom Group, we'll talk about that during, during the panel, kind of how they relate to this area. Um, so let me begin very briefly. I won't keep you very long, because the, the end user stories and the discussion are the important part here. But ARC has done a lot of research, uh, market research on the edge. And I'm not going to get into a theological discussion of what the edge is. I would say that really the real answer to that question really depends on who you're, who, who's answering the question, because it originates and, and has different answers in different industries. So we may have some religious discussions about it, but I don't really want to get into it here. Um, but when we look at the manufacturing space or the infrastructure space, we look at different kinds of domains of compute that have and, and that have very different properties. And, and um, we look at the edge as being kind of the the closest to the actual process or the manufacturing or the sensing. Um, why does it matter? It matters, and this is kind of out of our research that it is really the core enabler of. IoT business propositions. And so it's, it's a critical enabler for that. And what we see as kind of a trend from infrastructure to really business outcomes. People started thinking about infrastructure, but now they're really needing to think about business outcomes. And the kind of focus and, and, and feedback we get from our research is, is there's really a, a focus on self-service, ease of use, which I think we'll be hearing about both of those concepts, and turnkey operation. I think those are, the, those are the concepts that these presentations will be talking about, but that is really not out of these people. That's out of the research that we've done. Um, and another phenomenon that's going on is that the major cloud service providers, which are huge companies, are descending, if you will, to the edge. They all are developing and continuing to develop offerings for edge computing. So the, the business outcomes that people are trying to drive are, are pretty simple. They're, they're reduced downtime, performance improvement, service cost reduction, and I don't like that term service cost reduction as much as high level service at, you know, service value. So you're delivering more value for a particular service and making it a much better value point through this kind of infrastructure or making it feasible. Finally, uh, product and service innovation is kind of the, the, the later stage that we see. So with this focus on business outcomes, um, really the, the key enabler is, is reduced downtime in that it's very easy to put a measurement on, on the savings from that from a downtime reduction. And it's something that's high, that has high visibility and also extremely high value for, for many, many applications. The other things that we hear about are, are things like 
Obviously, cybersecurity is top of mind for a lot of these kinds of applications, especially in the utility space, but in, in many others. Um, zero touch deployment is another word that we hear um, a lot. Uh, containers and orchestrations, so software defined networks. These are kind of the, the focus areas that we are, we are hearing about a lot in these. And finally, um, these cloud service providers are mega large companies, as you know, um, and growing rapidly and with absolutely massive infrastructures. And so they're making a product push to the edge for, for good reasons, um, be, because the, the older model that they had of, of sending data to the cloud and doing everything in the cloud is, is really suboptimal for a lot of cases. And so these people have a very agile and very massive software development and architecture organization. So they bring a lot of resources to this space. We don't have any of them here. Maybe a good question for the, the folks on the panel would be um, what impact that has on the, on the market in the, in the near term and, and longer term future. Another point just to make is that the, the attention that's been focused on the edge is this was in the last week or two, the Linux Foundation took four, or I think five different edge programs and uh, development programs that were in the open source community, uh, put them under an umbrella they call LF Edge, very clever. And uh, those include uh, uh, the, the, so the previous EdgeX, stack for edge devices, which was a, a common uh, uh, stack for edge devices or software portfolio for edge devices. Uh, the Acrano, which is an open source development that came out of Intel um, and Wind River when they were together. And a thing called Eve, which is edge virtualization engine, which is a, a contribution of a venture stage company. Um, the name escapes me, um, but um, the virtualization, the idea was to provide a, a, a common and simple virtualization at the edge. And, and last but not least, as I said, those findings came out of ARC's research. ARC has done any number of research projects on the edge, and we're continuing to expand that. So just keep in mind uh, that uh, this is an area that's increasingly important and ARC will be doing this research in an ongoing way. And by the way, you're welcome to take pictures of the slides as much as you want, that's fine. However, the slides will be available uh, later in the, uh, on the, to the attendees through the uh, ARC portal. Okay, and that's the end of mine.